if, if, if the Minnesota Fighting Vikings do trade quarterback Kirk Cousins, get his $35 million base salary off the books, and look towards the future, you have to bring in a veteran bridge quarterback to just bridge that gap. Hence the name bridge quarterback between Kirk Cousins and uh, the future quarterback TBD, whether that's Kellen Mond, whether that's uh, a first round pick, because you're, you're not going to go from Kirk Cousins to uh, Kellen Mond in 2022. You're just not going to do that immediately. You're not going to go from Kirk Cousins to a rookie quarterback like a Kenny Pickett, like a Malik Willis, like a Carson Strong. You're, you're just not going to do that. So you have to find a compromise and preferably since you're getting uh, rid of Kirk Cousins, not because of his caliber of play, which was very high in 2021, you're doing it because of the salary. You want to bring in a veteran who's also not going to break the bank. You want one that's going to be very economical, as well as uh, give way eventually to whoever the future franchise quarterback is going to be, right? So it's going to be a Christian Ponder and Donovan McNabb 2011 situation all over again, which ideos me out. Now, we wanted to do this as an exercise to see who is potentially out there as a free agent, as well as maybe after we go through the list, you're like, ah, you know what, Kirk, we'll, we'll make it work with the cap, baby. Let's stay together for the kids because uh, it, it, it's not great. Uh, it isn't. Now, uh, we're only going to go through uh, free agent quarterbacks because if the Vikings want a bridge quarterback, I don't see them trading for one. Uh, I don't see them giving up draft capital because if they do trade Kirk Cousins, it is a full-on hard reboot of the Vikings. Not a reset, not a rebuild, but a, a full-on uh, take the cartridge out, put it back in. All right, so you're not going to get, you're not going to trade Kirk Cousins and get his salary off the books uh, for, for and also get a first-round pick. You're not going to give up a second for a bridge quarterback and also draft one. You're not going to do that. So uh, picking through the free agents, there we go. So at the top, Big Ben, no. Uh, Ryan Fitztragic. I mean, Fitzmagic is great, but He's old, as well as that hip. Like, an old man with a bad hip? Nah, that's not going to happen. Andy Dalton? No. Uh, how did Andy Dalton ever finesse 10 million bucks out of the Bears last year? Like, how, it's just it's just amazing, man. Where, uh, God, who, hmm, who, who's, what was the name of that quarterback? Uh, Packers. Oh, Matt Flynn. Uh, Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn respects the way that Andy Dalton just finessed that money, man. Go get it. Cam Newton, where... So Cam, when he went back to Carolina after getting cut in New England because Mac Jones was a Mac daddy, uh, so people remember, oh, Cam Newton came back and he scored a touchdown right away against the Cardinals, and he's like, I'm back, I'm back. They benched Cam like three times in Carolina. Just and now, no, the Cam Bloom is off the rose. Ty God, Ty God is the the perma. Uh, <laughs> Ty God is the the perma uh, bridge quarterback. It's crazy, man. Whether in Buffalo, whether in Cleveland, whether uh, in Houston, it's just always like, hey, Tyra, Tyra, come on in. Keep the seat warm for the kid. Okay, get out of here. Now, Jameis. Jameis would be interesting. Where, uh, So he uh, was in New Orleans. He was going to be the presumptive starter before he got hurt. And, you know, Jameis is an interception machine. He is very high variance. Uh, could he potentially return to Tampa Bay uh, if, if Tom Brady actually is retired, which I'm not – I'm not really convinced that he is. It's possible. But would he be cheap would, would be the question. Because uh, uh, the quarterback tax in the draft, we talk about that a lot, is that teams will overdraft quarterbacks, rise them up the draft board because of the need. And that happens the same way in the free agent market, where if, they, if things are stagnant and teams are a lot of teams are looking for quarterbacks, and if they can't trade for Kirk, if they can't trade for Rodgers or Wilson or, or Deshaun Watson, whatever, uh, some of these guys are going to be priced out. So Jameis might actually be too expensive for the Vikings, even though he signed a one-year, $5.5 million deal with the Saints this offseason. Uh, Jabroni Brisket. So Brissett has been a guy, whether he's been in New England or Indianapolis or the Dolphins, where he sort of he sort of uh, tie rod light, where he, he's always that bridge guy. But I, I do like Jabroni Brisket as a high-end backup. I, I, I guess he could be a bridge quarterback. He played okay in times when he came in for Tua. Uh, five touchdowns, one and one pick this season, maybe. Now this one, Teddy Bridgewater as the bridge quarterback. I can't do it. Now, and and I am one of the largest Teddy supporters in the world, and I think that he would have ascended the heights, became uh, would have become a top ten quarterback if his leg didn't socially distance from his body. But 
I can't do it, man. I, I I just can't do it. Where Teddy may not even want to return to Minnesota, even with a new regime. Uh, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. And also his biggest supporters, whether it be Rick Spielman who drafted him, whether it be Mike Zimmer who obviously was heartbroken uh, for the kid. I yeah, I, I just don't see it happening. Now, it would be fun, you know, get your number five jerseys out. I'm back home. And, and Teddy. Uh, he, he wasn't terrible, but he wasn't great uh, last year with the Broncos. And we, we've talked about Denver has a ton of offensive weapons that Teddy just simply didn't get it done last year. Uh, Marcus Mariota. Now, this would be my guy. Where Marcus, I, I, I'm a little bit afraid that he's going to get paid, but I would be okay spending up to – so say you get rid of Kirk Cousins and his $35 million base salary. If you want to give Mariota up to 10 I would be okay with that. You know, the former number two overall pick, and I, I like his mobility. I like his understated leadership. I, I like his arm. I think that he would do extremely well in a Kevin O'Connell offense. So if you want to bring in Marcus Mariota on, say, a two-year, $20 million deal, and you're drafting a first-round quarterback, and, and also you're, you're having Kellamon compete, I would be okay with that. Yeah, I, I would certainly be okay with that. Flacco, no. Mitchell Trubisky, <laughs> Now, it sounds like they want him back in Buffalo as Josh Allen's backup. But, you know, the the whole thing about, hey, we need to trade Kirk Cousins. Well, you have to figure out who's going to replace him. And you can't just throw a rookie in all willy-nilly. You need to have contingency plans. And it's all fun and games until Mitch, Mitchell Trubisky Ponder dons the purple. So, uh, no. No. Tim Boyle, no. Gabbert, obviously not. Chad Henney, no. Brandon Allen. I, I, I kind of like Brandon Allen as a backup, but no. Nah. No, no, no. Glennon, no. McCarron, no. Gino, no. Colt, no. Uh, Chase Daniel. <laughs> Vikings killer Chase Daniel, no. Uh, Josh Dobbs, rockin' scientist, no. Brian, how is Brian Hoard just, like, hanging around, chilling? Like, is, is he the Patriots quarterback's coach yet? No. Simeon, obviously not. Uh, Mannion, no. No. Then we get to Mike White. I would be in on Mike White, man. Where... Hey, he's not your traditional veteran bridge quarterback, even though he is going to be 27. But the spark that he had with the Jets when Zach Wilson was out, and he had some fun games, man. I'm not saying it was Lin's sanity, but it was close. Like, he had some big-time games. He's not afraid to make uh, throws. Western Kentucky rise up, man. All right, so he's a free agent. He might, he might get a couple million. He might just off of the tape that he put out there. Is he? No, he's a restrictor for agent. Crap. So uh, I'm sure they're going to tender him. They'll probably put a second round tender on him. So uh, th that, ah, ah, ah. Uh, so that puts a, a nail through that plan. That kind of sucks there. Haskins, no. Kyle Allen, no. Josh Rosen. So uh, I've said many a times, Josh Rosen just never got a, a, a chance in Arizona. Yeah, I think it's over. Yeah, I think that one's over. Huntley. Huntley would be extremely interesting. He has an exclusive rights free agent, though. So, basically, basically the the Ravens own his uh, rights for the next two years because he'll be an exclusive rights free agent this year. He'll be restricted next year. I think they want to keep him around as Lamar's backup, but you would have to trade for Huntley. And with, with Huntley, I think that you would trade for him with the idea of making him your future franchise quarterback. So, if they traded Kirk Cousins... And then they traded, uh, you know, they turned around and flipped those picks to the Ravens uh, for Huntley, which I think is what it would take. And then they're all in with him. Tyler Huntley as your starter, the pride of Utah, let's go. And then you got Kellamon as your backup. Maybe draft a, a day two rookie to further back up. Maybe. Uh, John Wolford, who Sean McVay started in the playoff game over a healthy Jared Goof. Okay, no. Uh, David Bling Bling Blau, no. Rippin, no. Woodside, no. Strevler. Former Gophers legend, also South Dakota Jackrabbit. What up, Strebler? No, uh, Kurt Becker. No. So really, there's only <laughs> there's only like three people that I'm excited about. Jabroni Brisket, maybe. Mariota, yes. Uh, Mike White, to a degree, except you'd have to give up trade compensation. And Tyler Huntley, you know, like, like I said, I would be interested. Except you're not trading for Huntley to make him the bridge quarterback. You're trading for Huntley to make him your quarterback quarterback, which would certainly be interesting. But uh, that's it. Let's take a look at potential bridge quarterbacks uh, for the Vikings if, again, if they trade Kirk Cousins. Uh, sometimes the grass ain't always greener, man. So uh, we'll see. Uh, what are your thoughts on our thoughts? Who do you like as a potential bridge quarterback for the Vikings next year? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.